this here. What do you what do you got? What do you got to show us? So this comes from the AC side, the the, the marketing and Becky Holscher's team. This is a uh, this is a compressor kit, a scroll, obviously, that we are working with the vocational schools nationwide to offer up, donate to the schools to get them more engaged on what a scroll, the oh pieces gosh, and parts. It's awesome. like a puzzle. Okay, so it all comes Whoa. apart. We are actually, by this quirky code, letting folks scan this today and giving one away. Not this one, because I was told this morning this is the prototype, mm -hmm. so that we need to send it back to have it made and it'll be shipped to them, drawed next week. Wow. So, uh, so this is what we're doing today. This is kind of the so drive. So you're going to make the, the, you're making these kits for training. Yes. Which is basically just compressors torn apart already. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, so they're going to do this. So, you know, you go to a lot of wholesalers as we train, and you see people doing this. Or like, you know, your, some of your videos. Yeah. You cut them up, yeah. and you have to clean them and degrease de them and de-oil them and all that good stuff. Yeah. So this is going to be already cleaned up for you. Comes with this nice carrying case, okay? Yeah. And uh, we're going to send it to them. So basically, it's a training tool on scrolls because you and I have the luxury of seen what it looks like inside not yeah. everybody has the time or the luxury of tearing a welded product apart or cutting it open so yeah i remember brian at the school decided to do a live video on cutting the compressor open yeah about 30 minutes later he was like okay let's turn off the video we're going to cut this open our own time and then come back and show us on the exactly it's so much work no to get in. yeah yeah then you take uh, for example trevor matthews up in canada they actually have a can cutter yeah. They actually have one you can set in there horizontal, nice. and he can cut it. You know, yeah. we most people have to either use a grinder or right. a sawzall most or something like that. People are sitting there with a grinder yeah. trying to get to the edge of that. Exactly. If, if they're even that interested and have the time, but exactly. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, it's awesome. That's cool. And this this little QR code actually prints out this little step by step booklet that comes with the kit. By the way, oh, shows nice. you what you're getting. So the school will get this. Yeah. And it kind of gives you some ideas on how to teach it, what's all involved, how to take it apart, what each item is called, you know, the fixed scroll, the orbiting scroll, and all that good stuff. So it gives somebody, maybe possibly a new instructor, That's awesome. the opportunity, you know. Yeah. So it's, uh, I mean, everybody's been really excited. I've had quite a few people up here sign up, uh, so I'm excited to see who wins it. So what is everything here? So. Tell me. This is our the top of the Teach scroll, me. obviously the cap. Okay. This is the the muffler plate, or some people refer to it as the muffler uh, cap. And basically, anything above this, under this, would be the high side. Yep. Okay. This anything below it is the low side. Now we'll stop here. This is an IPR internal pressure relief. Okay. So on most of your refrigerants, this would be like a 450 differential from high to low. Yeah. If it comes out anything higher than that. Instead of this turning into a big hand grenade or causing catastrophic, it shuts down. That's when you hear that yeah. sound. It shoots the high temperature gas, the discharge gas, down on an inherent protector that's in the windings wow. that then opens up by the okay. heat of it. And that goes off either on high amps or high temperature. Now, yep, that's what I hear when a system's massively overcharged and it comes on and then after a little while, it Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you gotta let it cool and reset itself on that. Um, now, if it's 410A, before I get away from that topic, it's going to be a 625 differential. It's going to okay. be higher pressures. Yeah. This is based on pressure, the IPR. This is based on temperature. This is a TOD. Same concept. It's going to shoot hot gas down there. This, all of our safety devices just underneath on the suction side are going to hover around 260 to 290. Uh, again, the oil will start to break down at 300 degrees. So this is going to go off when it gets to that mark, depending on the model, 260 to 290, somewhere thereabouts. Yeah. But it's going to do the same thing. It's going to open up. It's a thermal operating disc that bimetal okay. separates yeah. and shoots the gas down on the same protector we just talked about. So that's that. Wow. Here you have the top scroll the fixed scroll, you have the uh, orbiting scroll at the bottom, you then have the Oldham coupling which keeps everything together, and then you have the, the upper bearing, the straddle bearing. This is a bushing that's in there. Mm -hmm. If you look close to that, 
This is what allows the tolerance of like a, a, a droplet of liquid refrigerant if something like that happens. Yeah. That's that radial compliance we talk about all the time. Okay. That left and right movement. Yeah. It's almost acts as a spring. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's a that's some of the secret sauce behind our scrolls. Notice how this is the shaft is off center. Oh yeah. Okay, so that allows that orbiting effect on the bottom scroll to match wow. the gas on the scroll set itself. And then we have the rotor, okay? And normally this rotor would pull out of this shaft, okay? Now here's a really cool feature. On all the scrolls except the variable scroll, variable speed scroll, we don't have an oil pump in here. This, what you see is what, you, what, you, what we get. Yeah. These are little paddles. These are little rudders, if you will. They're called flingers. I always refer to them as if you think of a little boat paddle. But long story short, this is sitting down in oil. And it moves 3,500 RPMs. It's a two-pole motor. And when it, well, you put... It sits, sits down in here at the in bottom the where the oil collects in the bottom of your compressor. And, and if you notice, see the size of this hole here? The size of this hole, you can't see it, but it's a lot smaller than this is. Yeah. It causes a Venturi effect ah. on startup. These paddles yeah. stir that up. It's almost like a straw. Yeah. And this hole, if you could see through it, it's bored out at a slight angle. So it's literally, like from a centrifugal force, makes the oil go up almost like a barber pole outside a barber shop. Wow. And it goes up. And that's how that's the engineering science behind it. And that's it. how the oil gets on to all the moving parts up top. Since 1986. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah wow. now the variable speed does have a pump in it because we're changing that hertz and slowing it down so much yeah. more so that's a different story but on everything else this is how it works wow well that's that's pretty awesome you guys are very lucky you could probably not hear about a compressor from a more qualified teacher than don and he's, he's been here he's already given talks on this uh, a couple times here so really appreciate you coming down and teaching us and Always taking pleasure. the time to to go over this and that's an awesome feature it comes is. with a book yep you can actually learn how to teach. Mm -hmm. You'll learn yourself and yep. have this at your shop. You can show other technicians, talk about, you know, these safeties in here. That's so cool to be able to actually see that. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So It is. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Appreciate yeah. it. Emerson, thanks you too, by the way. I want to, we appreciate getting invited every year. Oh, good. Good. Glad you guys could come. Really, really appreciate the help. Everything you guys do to make this kind of thing possible, make us be able to